Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. 26,000 of you watched a video we made on light fixtures on the ship. So today, we're going to talk about light switches. The light switches on an Iowa class battleship come in two basic flavors. This kind is a snap switch, and it's uh, basically two position, but it will rotate through 180 degrees. And every 90 degrees, it turns on or off. And it's basically just a circle in there that's sort of like hourglass shape. It's got cutouts in it. So as you're turning it, it's either hitting a contactor or not. This is the common type of light switch that you see in uh, World War II and on most museum ships. In fact, many museum ships will remove these switches because they've got a set screw in them uh, so that people don't turn on and off the lights on the tour route. This kind of box is really great because if you open up this center portion, it's got fuses in it so that if you get a surge and the fuse blows, you go to the room where the fuse is and it's real easy to find this light is labeled as that. Those are the lights that are off. Swap those fuses out. Uh, in practice, over the years, there were so many additions and so many unauthorized ship offs and things that uh, the, the various fuses that feed these fuse boxes ended up all over the place. Um, and it's a real pain to chase them down nowadays. The labels don't necessarily do what they say they did. During World War II, the light fixtures tended to be incandescent bulbs in these shaded fixtures hanging from the overhead. Uh, and so a group of them would be on one of these snap switches. You hit that, and they come on and off. There were separate fixtures for red lights at night and white lights during the day. So you turn off the white lights, you turn on the red lights, and that's how you change it. In the 1960s, they relamp much of the ship with fluorescent tube lights, which is what is on here today. The, the big fixtures, it's significantly brighter than the incandescent bulbs. Uh, in some instances, they're running the wires straight out of the old uh, sockets for the uh, fluorescent bulbs. So you just run the power out of that to this. So uh, they seem to have been reusing the exact same snap switches. And these were still very common in the Navy. Uh, and they're still common in the Navy today, but still very common in the Vietnam era on new construction, on old World War II construction. In the 1980s, however, they went through and they changed a lot of these switches. So now we're in the forward berthing space. And you can see here's one of the old light fixture combination fuse boxes, switch boxes, but it's got none of the switches on it anymore. It does, however, have these sorts of switches wired into it. These switches are cool. It seems like they kept the fuses and everything here. They got rid of the switches so that they're just permanently on and they wired them all into just these pair of switches. When these are installed the correct way up, when you have the light in the up position, the white lights are on. When you have the light in the center position, all the lights are off. When you have the switch in the down position, the red lights are on. Many of the fixtures on the ship in the 80s had three fluorescent tubes. So the two outer tubes were white lights, the inner tube was the same sort of bulb, but it has a red colored uh, cover slid over it. It gets power from two different places. So in the up position, the two outer bulbs get power. In the down position, the inner bulb gets power. So you have red lights. And in the middle position, they're off. So real simple. Up is on. Center, there is no light. Down, there is red light. Now, just like in many houses where outlets and switches are reversed, probably a quarter of the switches on this ship were installed upside down. Um, but typically, it's in one position, you hit it in the other position, and you, and you know what you get. There is a third type of switch on the ship. They're just the regular two-position light switches like you have at home. They're not these little waterproof rubber toggle switches. They're like actual home switches. I bet you... There is a reason why they use the water tight ones here versus the regular two position switches where there aren't red lights. Uh, off the top of my head, I haven't 
spent that much time thinking about the light switches, uh, despite what this video might suggest. So maybe we'll have a future video where we talk about my musings on why they chose certain switches for certain places. Uh, I have no idea why some spaces they retained these as were and some places they went through the trouble of installing the new switches. Uh, definitely 1980 switches. I don't know why they went through the trouble of spending money to do it. The uh, 80s restoration was relatively austere. Lehman had a very tight budget that he was intent on maintaining. So there's a strong chance that these were done during a later uh, 80s upgrade and not initially in 1982. I'm just not entirely sure. The, uh, I haven't gone through all the light switch work order paperwork yet. I would absolutely kill to change all the light switches in my house to the snap switches on the ship. What about you? Let us know in the comment section down below what kind of light switch is your favorite. I use a red reading light in my room do you guys use red lights at all at home or just the white lights? Let us know down below. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate your support. There's a link in the description below if you'd like to donate to help us out. And you can also support the museum by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find out about us and the channel. Thanks for watching.